The first thing you'll do is find the unit in the management list. You'll click on the unit that you added in your website editor. Then you'll click on the 360 symbol that you see at the bottom center of the screen. Then you'll click on the walk around. Now some a warning that may pop up on your phone at this point is that you need to calibrate the internal sensors in your phone. If so, simply follow the instructions on the prompt until the prompt goes away. You'll start by getting the units focused in between the two large green parentheses that you see presented on screen. When you're ready to start, tap on the red record circle in the bottom center. The app will then tell you which way in which you need to move around the unit, eventually completing a 360 degree circle. You can see the level center sensors at work here. If these sensors go to yellow or red, then when the software attempts to stitch these images together to get a complete 360 degree view of this unit, there may be slight warping or blurring in the imagery. So try to keep it as stable as possible. Once you have completed the full 360, the system will go through and try to save a 360 degree image file. You can see that we're nearing the end of the process here in the app. And there we are. Then the app will automatically begin to build that 360 degree preview. You'll then click Done in the upper right-hand corner. Then you'll be brought back to your initial screen. And there you can see the 360-degree preview that is now available on the previous screen. Now, if you try to exit from here, as I did initially, it will warn you that that 360-degree image that you just took will be erased. So you do not want to exit the app at this point or try to back up, because as you can see, it will discard the changes that you've made. So you'll click No. You'll click Next at the top right of the screen, and you'll be brought to the list of 360-degree images that you may or may not have already taken. What you'll want to do is scroll down until you see the brand new 360 view that you just took and click on it and essentially just make sure that it is in fact what you want. You'll click on the image on the top and if you want to, you can clear at this point, erasing it or as I did here, preview of it. The first time you do this, it will take a moment to open and compile the image. Now at this point, if you were to swipe left or right on the screen, it would in fact present that 360 degree image. To jump back one page, all I did was click done in the upper right corner. And now you can see that the 360 degree dot that is beneath the unit's information and picture is filled in. Now that we're going to spec step back to the original starting menu, it is actually going to attempt to upload this 360 degree view you took to the unit listing on your website. This software is only for taking a 360 degree view of the unit. You literally do nothing else here. It may take an hour or more in order to actually sync this picture, the 360 degree picture you took with the unit listing on your site. The next thing that we're going to go through and do is we're actually going to jump onto the website after that 360 degree view has been attached to that unit so you can see how it's presented on the site versus how it was presented in the app. And now you can see that we're back on our website. 
As we scroll down here, you can see all of the information that you're used to seeing. The name of the unit, the picture box, all of your buyer's tools that you have over to the right, and all of your, spec, uh, your specs and features that you would normally see. But now, in addition, you have this amazing 360-degree spin that you see here. And now, your customers can have a more immersive experience taking a look at the unit. These are very high-resolution photos, as you can see. Depending on the device that you use to capture, obviously, it will be more or less high resolution, but they can zoom in, zoom out, and take a very detailed look at the entire vehicle. Which, of course, when a customer can see the entire vehicle in greater detail, they feel entirely more comfortable in purchasing it in store or even, in some cases, completely online.